Hello everyone, it's your boy, Calculon, and we're back for part two of the color counting algorithm activity in Vexco VR. Let's get into it. All right, I'm here in my line detector playground, and I have my algorithm from level one, which was simply as long as we don't detect green, we're gonna move forward. We're gonna do that twice after moving forward a little bit, because if you do that twice and we end up on the green, it's just gonna stop the whole process. And finally, we're gonna give it the command to stop driving to stop our robot on the second green square. In level two, we wanna use starting point D again. We wanna program the VR robot to print out the color detected to the print console anytime it detects a new line. Validate our solution by using the starting point E to run the project again. Okay, so we need to go from here to here to here and we should see three lines as we move forward telling us that we've passed different colors. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing as we did before. We're gonna move from D forward to stop on the second green line. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Each time we pass a line or stop on a line, we want it to print out that we have passed the certain color of line. Okay, so we're gonna need a different tool for this. We're gonna to have to go into the looks commands. And the first thing I'm gonna do is clear all rows so I can clear all the schmutz when I obviously iterate this a few times. Okay, that'll just clear up our print. And if you don't know where the printed out commands are, if you click this kind of uh, Horizon Science Academy looking icon, we'll see the monitor. And the monitor will have the print feed down here. And if we're recording any sensors and variables, they'll have that information up here. I'm gonna move this up as much as possible, uh, simplify our display, and then I'll be able to see some of the printed out commands here. Now, obviously, if we just uh, print hello, all right, and we tell it to print, I like big robots and I cannot lie, it should just, when it starts, clear all rows, print this, go to the next row, and then print this. Let's go ahead and run this program. Hello, I like big robots and I cannot lie. Okay, so that's how we use the print command. So we just want to strategically tell it to print when we see certain things below our robot. All right, I'm gonna use this as a template, okay, so while. Uh, I'm gonna use the while command. So we move forward while things are happening, while we don't see anything. So while, and then I'm gonna use an operator here. I'm gonna use or, since I don't just wanna look for green, I wanna look for any color. While the down eye detects green, certainly. Down eye detects green, or this is gonna be a little bit of a mess. Down eye detects red, hit, Get in there. Whew. We struggle, we struggle, we struggle. Gotta fit the round pig in the square hole. There we go. All right, um, or down eye detects blue. It's basically if the down eye sees a color. So while, and we want that to be in a knot, just like last time. Operator, knot. So as long as, whoa long as the robot doesn't see any of this stuff, we want it to move forward. Okay, so drivetrain, drive forward. All right, now what happens if it does see these things? Well, certainly we need to stop and we need to print out that we've seen these things. Let's stop driving and let's see what we see. If down to text green, looks, print, green. If the down eye detects red, print, red. Oh, I missed something. Are you? No, you're not done. Okay, come here you. I almost flubbed it up. Eh. All right, look, you, I need some space here. And we struggle, and we struggle. All right, uh, we missed missed out on this. Get get in there. Okay, all of that. Get in there. Okay. All right. Or if down eye detects blue, print blue. All right. So this is going to tell us to move forward so long as we don't have a color under us. Then we're going to stop. Then. If we see one of those colors, we're gonna print that out. Then we're going to 
move forward a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna add a variable. Let's call this green count. When we see green, not only am I gonna print green, I'm gonna change green count by one. I'm gonna add one to my green count because at two, I need to stop. All right, so we're gonna repeat this until, repeat the whole darn thing. Oof, it's gonna be kind of rough. All right, all of this gets repeated until as soon as green count is greater than one, we want it greater, repeat until it's greater than one. You stop when it's greater than one. You stop. Stop when it's two. Okay, and then we're going to tell it to stop driving. All right, I don't need this anymore. Yeet. So let's try this out and see if it does anything. Okay, well, it moved like it was supposed to. Drum roll. Let's see. All right, blue, green, red, blue, blue, green. Blue, green, red, blue, blue, blue. We did the thing. We, doesn't look very good, but we did the thing. So let's format that a little bit. Um, all I'm gonna change is under looks. Let's uh, set cursor to next row after each of these things. So we don't have just the chaos down there. All right, let's try that again. So let's start on D as it asks us to do. And let's go forward. Should stop on the second green. It did should have green, red, green when we look over here on separate lines. <gasps> we did it. Okay, and one more time, let's verify that this works on point E. Reset, go. And you can see it print out as it passes those things. And that is level two, actually a little bit easier than I thought it might be. Hopefully you learned something about the controls as well as the print settings today, and you can now complete this on your own. The next video, I'll be attempting level three. Wish me luck. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.